It's time to decorate for Christmas, so come along as I unpack my tubs and spread a little Christmas cheer throughout our home. Our crocheted stockings are from Amazon. I purchased those a few years ago. And these fun animal stockings for the grandbabies I purchased from Target. Last year, we only had one grandbaby, but I knew we had two more on the way, so I picked up two extras. Well, this year we have a fourth grandbaby, so I'm gonna be grabbing another from Target. I'm pretty much using the same decor as I have over the last few years, but I will be changing things up a bit, and I might pick up another item or two along the way. Last year was our first Christmas here at the farm, and we had put the tree behind the couch and we didn't have a place to hang the stockings, so I had propped a board up in the corner there, kind of behind where you see the tree, and made that my little stocking corner. This year, I'm obviously putting the tree next to the TV, and then I will be using my ladder for my stockings. You'll see that here in just a bit. Ever since we decided to put this ladder up the wall that leads to the loft, I've always envisioned hanging our stockings on here. Well, I really struggled with the arrangement. You'll see me arrange them here, and then you might see them facing a different direction here in a little bit, and looking like it was complete, but it was definitely not. I adjusted, changed, and arranged the stockings so many times, and you will see that in the end. I also decided I wanted to use the loft space for a little bit of decor. I totally should have done that before I put the stockings on the ladder, but I made do and just climbed up and down the ladder a few times to make adjustments. I have several of these ribbon garlands that I've made over the years. They're burlap and ribbon, and they just make four fun little accents here and there. I'm also using a two-sided blanket for my tree skirt. I know a lot of people are using the tree collars. Um, I tend to still prefer a tree skirt. Here, again, you can see that I'm using some of that ribbon garland in the window. I have several of these little trees. I picked these up at Michael's and Big Lots a couple of years ago, and I absolutely love them. Um, you'll see that I do change things around a bit and make adjustments because once I got everything unpacked, I decided to move a few things around. And this is my two-sided sign. I know I show it to you every time I get the opportunity. I made this and it's so perfect because one side is fall and the other side is Christmas. I also really love using ribbon to decorate because it just adds the perfect little touch to practically everything. You'll see me tying it around the base of the tree here. I've done that with all of my little trees. All right, so now it's time for the ornaments. And again, these are just ornaments that I have been using year after year. Most of them, the buffalo check ones and themed ones are from Big Lots. I have several others, some picture frame ornaments that I've obviously had since my kiddos were babies. And I have obtained a few more just like them that I do plan to put the grandbabies pictures in as well. Thank you. 
And now for the finished product. You'll notice that the stockings are now arranged and spaced out evenly and it's per married couple. I also added the black and white ribbon and I think that was the perfect touch that it needed to just finish out the look for the stockings. I've got my little moose and tree up there in the loft space. My star, my tree topper star, I did find that on Amazon. I had looked at several at Target and Walmart and just could not find one that I loved, but I found that one on Amazon and it just seemed to be perfect for my tree and my decor. Here I have my ribbon garland and these little ceramic houses. These are from Target, they light up, they're so super cute, they have a timer on them and they're just really sweet. All right, and now for the animal stockings that I was mentioning earlier. So we just had one grandbaby last Christmas, Weston, and he got the little deer. Then we added the bear and the owl for Hallie and Greenlee, and then this year, the fox for little Bodie Jack. I really love how this little table centerpiece came together. It's pine branches, bells, and the little dough bowl with a little LED light. As you can see here, I ended up using another one of the light up ceramic houses from Target here in the window, and I think that was the perfect touch that it needed. I feel like I was able to create a fairly simple and sweet Christmas spirit throughout our home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have fun decorating your home for the holidays. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and as always, drop me a comment. I love hearing from you.